Hi, everyone, and welcome to Mountain West IRA's Facebook Live. I'm so excited for today's event as we are talking with Crystal Lamour from Wheelchairs for Warriors. We're going to get a little bit of information about Crystal. Um, of course, I'm Megan Brenneman from Mountain West IRA and the Assistant Director of Business Development here. And Crystal, so I want to get to know a little bit about you. So kind of tell me your role at um, Wheelchairs for Warriors and what you do. That. Thank you. It's so nice to see your face, by the I way. Know. We've been communicating. It's been a while. We've been talking back and forth, but haven't actually seen each other face to face. So that's the, the good thing. I know. And so hello to everyone out there who's uh, watching this. Um, so my name is Crystal Lee Laramore, and I am the executive director of Wheelchairs for Warriors. And we started the organization in 2016, and we started raising funds and uh, delivering wheelchairs in 2017. And, you know, Megan, like you and I had been talking, mm -hmm. is uh, our criteria, our only criteria is injured in the line of duty. So any veteran or first responder injured in the line of duty that cannot get the proper wheelchair from either their healthcare provider or for the veterans from the VA, then that's when we step in and help out. Perfect. So kind of curious, what is that picture behind you? Oh, this. Yes, <laughs> that one. That's so funny. Let me give you a better look. Can you see that? Oh, that is awesome. So that is me in the middle, not in the uniform. That's me in the middle. And that's the uh, State Department, the U.S. That's our logo. And this is a palace in Baghdad, Iraq. And oh, over wow. yeah, and over here. So I was in Baghdad with the State Department for a couple of years and I was in Iraq. And my office was one of Saddam Hussein's daughter's palaces. Oh, wow. And he had given it to his daughter after um, the King of Jordan, King Hussein, had decided that Saddam was really super crazy and he didn't want to come to Iraq anymore. <laughs> But it was built to be Saddam, I mean, uh, King Hussein and Queen Noor's resting villa when they oh. came to Iraq. <laughs> that wow. Crazy. That yes. is so crazy. The very cool. That and is that's, very cool. Yeah. And that's the first cavalry. Those guys are with the first cab. Oh, wow. Yeah. 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 And then after they mm -hmm. left, the Marine Corps stepped in and showed me who was boss. <laughs> <laughs> right. Oh, well, so anyways, so that's kind of. Yeah, sorry. So that's kind of how I got my start and wanting to my whole family, you know, like you and I've talked in the past, my whole family's military. We've all served every single war. There's been a layer or more. And when I came back from Baghdad is how I is, you know, I just wanted to continue that service to our military and to our guys. And it took several years to figure out God's path and and what that was going to look like. And it's wheelchairs for warriors. And it's perfect. Perfect. Yes. Oh, no, yeah. it's great. Well, and that's thank you. Why, yeah, why we chose Wheelchairs for Warriors as our charity that we were going to, you know, push and want to be involved with because of everything that you guys do and what you guys have done for so many people. Um, it's pretty, you know, passionate. I mean, you can see the passion that you guys have, every single one of you have to make sure that the quality of life for a veteran or a first responder is get, they're getting what they deserve. I mean, and at the end of the day, that's what's so important is that our the people that put their life on the line mm -hmm. have a life that they deserve to have. So well, thank you for what you guys do oh, because it's absolutely amazing. I can assure you it's our pleasure. And yeah. like like you and I had have chatted, you know, a lot over the last several months. Mm -hmm. It is because of corporations like yours who say, hey, we want to join the mission. We want to be a company um, that has a corporate culture of giving back to our military. And I always say they wrote a blank check for us and it is our responsibility and our duty and, to write a blank check back to them. And what happens is a lot of times these guys get a wheelchair and it's not what they need to get out of the house. It's, mm -hmm. it's perfect for in the home, but what about if they want to go hunting or fishing or play with the kids on the beach or play basketball or go, you know, participate in sports and they want to get away from the TV because another number, a number that's very important to our society in the, in the veteran community is that 22 a day. So we want to help decrease that and we want to get right. them away from just being, you know, these guys were in a mission. 
were in the battlefield, they were on mission, they were police officers, they were SWAT officers, they were U.S. Secret Service agents, they were firefighters, but they were in a mission. They were with a band of brothers and then all of a sudden they're plucked from that environment and they're in a wheelchair in front of a television sitting. No, 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 no. You want to you want to play basketball? We're here for you. We will build you an incredible sports chair. We've got guys who are archers, shooters, whatever they are. And just these chairs that we're building are phenomenal. We're delivering one up in your neck of the woods. Cause you know, I'm South in Galveston. Yeah. It, it's probably still 42 degrees where you are, isn't it? Um, it was cold the last <laughs> couple of days. It was really nice. And then it got really cold for a couple of days. So that it, but it's not too bad right now. It got really cold here yesterday too. It was 87. <laughs> oh yeah. No, it got down to the fifties and sixties here. So. I knew it. Oh my gosh. That's so funny. So we have, so we're delivering a chair to a Vietnam veteran in Minnesota. Oh, nice. Um, at the end, July 10th, I think we're coming up there July 10th. So a Vietnam oh. veteran in Minnesota has a ton of land up there and we're going to deliver him a Cajun commando Ooh. All terrain, zero turn, badass wheelchair. That sounds amazing. He is that gonna is love very it. cool. And don't you guys do a lot of? I mean, you record a lot of what you you do, right? At, at these events or going or um, to where you're doing it, you, you guys do a lot of promotions and showing like what you guys have done, right? So mm -hmm, you guys, mm -hmm. I know you have that on your website. Yes. So our website, wheelchairsforwarriors.com, shameless plug. Our website has tons of stories so every every person we've delivered a wheelchair to their story is on our website and we have six wheelchairs in the uh and somewhere in, a, in the process right now either we're doing the evaluation we're about to do the evalu evaluation we're going to start the build or we're about to deliver so we have six in the pipeline right now wow and i have a question for you yeah how much do you think a wheelchair cost oh goodness around like I would say it would depend right on what you're doing for or how you're making it, but probably around 20,000 upwards. Yes. So you, we had this conversation before, which is why I brought it up again. You were one of the very few people that guessed correctly. <laughs> we're like four or $500. We're like, eh, no, <laughs> not really. So $7,500 basic titanium wheelchair. Once you add in, because we have to add in like travel, because we go wherever the veteran is, right? Mm -hmm. So like I said, Minnesota. So we have Minnesota, Kentucky, and California on the books for evaluations right now. So we go to where the veteran is. The motorized KG Commando chair, all said and done, is going to be around 15 grand. Um, some of the other motorized wheelchairs are 45, 55,000. And we get tier one and tier two price discounts from the manufacturer Thank God. Yeah, no kidding. There would be more. Yeah. Oh, the things I've learned. And right. we can we can make these wheelchairs. So we built this one guy, um, a Marine Corps veteran. We built him a lightweight titanium wheelchair uh, that he can pick up very easily. His wife can pick it up. That's also a really big thing for the caregivers. Right. And he runs it through his Bluetooth watch. It's called oh, Smart wow. Drive. That's he just taps nice. his. Cool. I know. That's very cool. I don't design them. I just, I just raise money and right. I'm the mouthpiece. But yeah. our uh, seating rehab specialist is also a mechanical engineer, and his father was an army veteran who's suffered trying to get a, a, the proper wheelchair, and so it's his passion as well. And it, this Bluetooth technology, oh. oh, that's impressive. It's pretty very impressive. impressive. I know. So exciting. Well, with that being said, now that we got a little bit of information about the Wheelchairs for Warriors, I kind of want to start talking about our event that we're going to be having here in, um, at, well, actually, we're in Meridian, Idaho. Mm -hmm. um, we will be moving our event that we were supposed to have this last summer on right. June 11th on 2021. Um, times and details will be kind of brought out later, but... With that being said, we are looking for a recipient. So it's great that you kind of talked about mm -hmm. what the wheelchairs can do for somebody because mm -hmm. we definitely need to get a recipient. We would love to have somebody locally here in Idaho, right. anywhere in the state of Idaho to mm -hmm. receive a wheelchair. So 
kind of with that, how would they, I know have their website, so I'm going to mm -hmm. add this. So here's your website. Um, how okay. so would just go here to apply? Is that sure. what we would need them to do? That's all they need to do. And I'm glad that you brought this up as well, because sometimes, you know, I know this sounds silly, but these guys are alpha males, you know, they're mm -hmm. just, they don't need any help. Right. They don't need anything. They've been taught and trained to just to make do with what they right. have. And they also feel like someone else could use it more. It's like, Hey, you are the someone else. Right. Mm -hmm. So sometimes they just won't apply. They'll just ignore it. Think that somebody needs it better. They don't, they don't want to take resources away from someone else. You're not taking resources away from anyone. But if you know a veteran injured in the line of duty who needs a wheelchair and who is suffering with, you know, less than equipment, please reach out to us for them. And, and you can fill all that out on the, on the forms and someone will get back to you quickly. It's not, we don't wait weeks. Right. And if someone doesn't get back to you quickly, my personal cell phone number is on the website and people Perfect. call me all hours of the day and night and I answer and they're like, Oh, well, we didn't expect you to answer. It's like you do. You answer every time that I've ever called you. So you are great at that. Yeah. You definitely are available, which is great. If, if I'm not on the phone with Megan, I promise I'll answer. <laughs> right. Um, so if they are wanting to do it for the our event, do uh -huh. they need to do anything special? No, yeah, they could just fill out the form and then we'll contact them and then they can let us know that it's for that specific event. Okay, perfect. That's great. And then they can um, and then they can donate for that veteran as well. If they want to just go ahead and make a donation towards mm -hmm. the event, they can put it in the notes. Okay. Because we're, you know, we're raising money for a specific cause. Right. Yes. And so tell me about some of the um tell me about the event. Like what 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 do you have up your sleeve? So with the event, we are looking um we're gonna have a live band. Um, we will, be, like I said, we're going to have it at our new location. So we're very excited. Um, we're expanding. Uh, so there'll be some great things that we'll have in store for our clients. We're going to invite all of our clients to come, uh, mm -hmm. of course, anybody in the community to come as well. We're going to, um, have games for kids. We'll have food. Like I said, the live music, uh, and mm -hmm. of course the big part of the night will ha be having a recipient receive a customized wheelchair for them. Um, yes. And with that, Crystal, I did want to bring up the fact that we would like to get somebody chosen as soon as possible because yes. of the process, right? You right. have to fly out here. You would have to do measurements and everything for mm. the recipient. Yes. The sooner, the better. It takes a little bit of time. It doesn't take a long time to get a wheelchair like the VA sometimes takes four, five, <laughs> 10 years. You're still not getting one. <laughs> so we're a little quicker than that. Uh, we just don't have all the you know, bureaucracy behind us. Um, we have cash and cash right. is king. And so that always works. But we do, we fly out to the veteran, we measure them, we take detailed measurements from the circumference of their head, head to toe, toe to mm -hmm. foot, heel to leg, back of your leg. Yeah, we make sure that it fits, that it's going to fit you. And right. then we fly out there with the wheelchair and we make sure it fits you and we make sure it's everything that you want it to be. So we want it to be perfect. And especially for this event, we don't want to deliver the wheelchair and, and not be the right fit. Right. right. So it'll be a little bit more um, time involved. Yes. So perfect. Top, y'all find, y'all find a veteran. Yes. Yes. So please, please, please share this with everybody that you know, if you have any questions, you can comment um, and we will get back to you. You can always, I'll be giving my number at the end of this. So if you have any questions or you need to call me, I will make sure you have my, my information so that if you need any assistance, you need me to help you walk through any of this process, I can do that. With that being said too, I do wanna think, we have some sponsors and some vendors that we're already going to be working with us for the 2020 charity event that we were trying to have. But going forward, we are want to thank them. So we have a few that I wanted to um, shout out today. We have Mo Stark from the Boise Bistro with our, he's our Ruby sponsor. So thank you, Mo, for taking the time to um, be a sponsor because sponsorship is what's going to drive our event. Um, mm -hmm. Being a sponsor helps so much because that the money that it costs 
to have an event like this so that we can raise money is can get expensive. I mean, yes, we have a lot of people donating and doing things like that, but we want to make sure that this event is as big as possible so that we can get money raised for wheelchairs for warriors. It's so important. Um, we also have our vendors, uh, Ryan Meyer with Western State Homes, Audie and Jack Black with Multifamily Investment Group. They are all great to help us and, you know, pitching in. They will be there. We'll have vendors at our a charity event as well. So you can kind of mingle with different investment sponsors, different people. It will just be an absolute amazing thing. And we definitely want to thank all of our sponsors and vendors for taking the time to help us make this event happen because without you, we couldn't do this. So thank you so much. What's happening with the live auction? Oh. You, we were talking about some pretty cool stuff. Yes. So we, um, with the sponsors, we've also got some donations already for Hammerdown, from Hammerdown River Excursions. It's a over $500 rafting trip that will be uh, auctioned away. So we're very excited about that. We are looking uh, to getting some other great, uh, you know, I know that you talked about some pretty cool, like an AR-15, you talked Can about- Can I talk about those? Yes, please, because those are pretty cool. Okay, okay, okay. So we have, if you go to our Facebook page, you will see the AR-15 that we auctioned off at our Peace, Love, and Warriors event in February. And it is um, Cerakoted. And all you gun enthusiasts will know what this means. It was a new thing that I learned. But it's Cerakoted in the distressed American flag. And it's a hand custom built um, AR-15 by uh, Rocky's Custom Gunworks. And he's up north somewhere as well. But I can't remember exactly where. But he's designing that. And that is so cool. And... Um, somewhere in your area, Megan, we were talking that you, we, we needed somebody to reach out to us and, and, uh, donate a flamethrower. Yes, we need a, <laughs> yes, we definitely need a flamethrower. I think that that would be pretty awesome. <laughs> we need a flamethrower. It went for, and we, it, it was good. We had a really good, um, uh, turnout, um, for the flamethrower at our event. And we had a U.S. Navy SEAL that was our MC and he said, I'm pretty sure I've never been to a fundraiser where there was a flamethrower. So I'm kind of committed to every fundraiser that is for wheelchairs for words. We, we, you know, I think we just need a, a flamethrower. It needs to happen. Yeah, yeah. definitely. <laughs> and then I think that we have um, Charlie Melton, who is a Navy SEAL. I'm pretty sure he's donating this. Uh, he's a Navy SEAL. He trained Chris Kyle and Marcus Luttrell. So he, um, he also held the world's record for the long shot. Someone broke his record and he is right now in the process of breaking that person's record. So for the long shot, but he has a training course that will have you shooting a mile within a two day period. And he, so he also has a good course and that uh, his course is good for four or more people. And you fly down to his property in Texas. He has a big ranch out in Texas. He cooks dinner, you know, campfire dinner the night before and, it's just really cool. That's so amazing. I know what a cool thing. So I know I have for now. <laughs> yep. And yeah. I think Buck Knives is, um, is donating a big machete. Oh, that's perfect. I know we've got some cool we things. Have, we'll have a bunch of things for auctions, you know, for the auctions. We'll also be doing some little small raffle things. Mm -hmm. Just to keep it very fun. You know, and everybody, like I said, and I think that with this time, it's going to be so important to have fun again, right? We all fun for the love, ready for fun. <laughs> so, um, like I said, we'll have prizes and games and stuff for children, and it's you know the auction raffle um, vendors. It will be a great experience, and of course, like I said, the highlight of the night will be a recipient getting a, a customized oh, yeah. wheelchair at no cost to them, and a hundred percent of all the proceeds that are gained will go back to wheelchairs for warriors. So Mountain West area is not touching a dime of this. It's going 100% back to wheelchairs for warriors. So the next recipient can get a wheelchair. Cause right now, right, you have, you know, you said all these, yeah. you're looking, you guys are still looking for donations at this point. Right. Always, you know, mm -hmm. always. But here's the cool thing. You see where your money's going. Exactly. It's instant gratification for everyone. Mm -hmm. Exactly. So perfect. So actually, with that, yes, I'm so excited. I know. I'm, How did you hear about that? I want to know that story. I want everyone oh. else to hear that story. How you even found us. 
So John Galane, um, which is the owner of Mountain West IRA, I was sitting down talking to him about choosing a charity and he really wanted me to do my research on finding a charity um, that was, you know, a veteran kind of related um, mm -hmm. that he's passionate about that. I mean, he has family that's military. I have family that's military. So we were just wanting to kind of see what we could find. And so I just did a lot of research and found you guys. And like I said, of all, a lot of the different ones that I'm finding is I was, I liked the fact that um, almost everything goes back to mm -hmm. the veterans. I mean, mm -hmm. you know, of course you're an organization, you guys have to, you know, manage mm -hmm. and work it, but a huge chunk of it is going back to these veterans. Yeah, so. we're just, we're under 20% for, I can't keep up with it every single day, but we go between nine and 18% is all we spend on admin. Right. And that's great. And that was one of the biggest things that drove me with you. When I mm -hmm. talked to you about it was what you guys did and how it was a majority of it was going back. So that's kind of why and how we chose you. I was just doing my research and that's found you guys on the website and <laughs> reached out to you. And like I said, the first time I called you, you answered and I, was I like, answered and I answered. <laughs> Yeah. There's something to be said for answering those random numbers that pop up because I never know if it's a veteran or somebody always wants to right. donate a wheelchair that we never can take, you know, but right. the, the, the phone rings all the time and you never know who's going to be on the other end. So I always answer. So that's a good question. Can people, so if somebody has a wheelchair and they wanted to donate it, can you guys use them? Typically, no. Mm -hmm. Every once in a blue moon, we can use them. But the answer typically is no, because we have to custom make mm -hmm. the wheelchairs, but a lot of the really high end $20,000, $40,000 motorized wheelchairs, a lot of them can be refurbished. So mm. if you have one of those very high end wheelchairs, we'll take it because if you have, you know, a used wheelchair that may have cost five or $6,000 and it's used and it might be worth two or three, right. then you have to pay to ship it. Then we have to refurb it. But at that point we could just build a brand new chair for a veteran. Right. Okay. Well, that's a good point. Cause if there's somebody that ever wanted to donate, at least we'd know mm -hmm. kind of what you guys and, are looking for. And we tell everyone to reach out to their local VFW or their local American Legion. Cause sometimes they'll take a chair. Perfect. That's a good point. Probably mm -hmm. even the local VAs would probably take some of that stuff. Maybe now. <laughs> get me started. <laughs> yeah. we won't get started on that. I had a really hard time because I was looking for a veteran and I went to the VA and they wouldn't help me. It was very frustrating. Uh, so that's why we're having to do so much marketing to get this out there for, you know, getting a recipient. So like I said, and I'm going to say it again, if you know anybody or just if you're not sure, fill out an application, we'll kind of, you know, walk you or talk you through that process once we receive all the information. And I will give you my information about that later. But Crystal, I, I want to talk about this because it's something okay. that um, really bothered me when I found out about James Clark and what <gasps> is James Clark and oh, I just got chills. Yeah, it's it it's it's almost sickening to mm -hmm. me because I understand and we all know what's going on in the world right now. Right. But to be able to help somebody and get them to where they need to be. And like you said, mm -hmm. needs rehabilitation. Like at this point, mm -hmm. this is what he needs. So tell, tell us what, tell us more about James Clark. Okay. If you go to our website and you look at recipients. Yes, here, I'll put it up. We can right. pull that up. Yeah. There he is. Oh, you have it right there. Okay. So there's James Clark. So James Clark, not only served his country in the Navy. He also is a retired SWAT officer, police officer, and he is 70 years old. He is in desperate need of a rehab complex, rehab seating solution. Uh, so we built him one and we went to deliver it to him at his home and we he didn't come to the door. The dog kept coming to the door and the dog would come to the door and the dog would run away. And so Paul, our seating specialist said, listen, I think, I think I hear somebody screaming, help me. And I was like, Oh no, you don't. Cause you just never really imagine mm -hmm. that you're in that situation. And sure enough, James Clark had fallen in his bathroom and he had been there all night 
and all day, and thank God we showed up. So we called 911, the ambulance came, the fire department, everybody came, everybody showed up because they knew it was it was James. It was one of their own. Mm-hmm. Everybody was there. It, it, there were so many. This gave me chills. There were so many people there ready to help him. And so off he went into an, to an ambulance, in an ambulance, and they took him also to the VA. Well, we couldn't deliver his wheelchair to him at the VA because COVID and we couldn't get in. And I didn't know about essential worker paperwork. And one thing led to another and we, we figured it out with the government. We got our essential paperwork. His family kept reaching out to us saying, can you please get that wheelchair to our dad? And we're like, well, where is he? Mm-hmm. Is he at the VA still? Because we still, the VA still wouldn't even let us in with our essential worker paperwork. So they said he's at a rehab facility in Liberty, Texas. It's called Liberty Health Care, and it's on Travis Street in Liberty. And if y'all would like to go storm the building, I would appreciate it because they won't let us in either. We mm-hmm. drove two yeah. hours to Liberty, Texas from League City, Texas, to deliver his wheelchair. His family told them we were coming. They said it was okay. We got there, and they just stalled us at the gates of bureaucracy again and said, no, you can't come in. And I'm mm-hmm. like, we have, we, your his family said that we were, what, what, what do you mean we can't? And they said, you have to be an essential worker. And I said, oh, well, that's all we need. I've got that. I've got the paperwork. We've got a mask. And then he just looked at me and said, no, you can't come in and shut the door in my face and walked in back into the center. I, I, I couldn't even believe it. And we were just standing there. And if you look on our Facebook page, I did, um, I did a, live post from there and you can see the look on our rehab specialist face of disgust and we've tried reaching out uh we have a u.s marshal involved we've got a couple senators uh it's stalled right now we have finally reached out to the liberty county sheriff's department and so it's been two weeks since we tried to deliver him his rehab chair that he desperately wants and needs and nothing wow It's, it's, um, it's almost like I said, it's devastating to me that, you know, as far as if you guys used all your precautions, you know, you did what they required, you're an essential worker. This is giving him something that he needs. I mean, yes. And they said, you can leave it here. And I'm like, I'm not leaving a $50,000 wheelchair at your door. First of all, that sounded super Texan. I'm sorry. (laughs) I'm not leaving a $50,000 wheelchair at the door. We need to, first of all, do our due diligence and we need to be, we need to make sure that it actually does fit him properly, that we have it adjusted correctly and that he gets it. Right. Exactly. I'm not leaving it at your door. Like you said, it's so important too, just to make sure that everything's working properly for him because it is customized made for the veteran. So that makes sense. And I know that there's probably going to be a lot of opinions that are out there and I understand and everybody has their right, but we have a veteran that needs this and it is devastating to me about that. So if you live in Texas and you have, you know, if you're, you know, just right there with you trying to get, you know, James Park, his Uh call your Senator, call the sheriff's office. Yeah. Liberty County, Texas. 